Hello, this video is to help you with understanding the systems of equations project and how to set up your system of equations to represent the problem. So we're looking at comparing a trip to Paris, France to a trip to Atlanta, Georgia. Our total cost of our trip is dependent upon the number of nights we decide to stay in the hotel that we are going to. So first we need to come up with some data. You can't use my data because I'm just making up some numbers. So what you need to do is you need to get online, do a, an internet search and find your own data and determine how much would you pay for a three-star hotel in Paris, France, and then how much would it cost you to fly to Paris from Atlanta. Now, we live in Fulton County, so we would not be flying to Atlanta, Georgia. Instead, all we would have to do is pay for our hotel. So because of that, we can stay in a five-star hotel. So you need to research and find a five-star hotel that you would like to stay in. Be sure that you um, are documenting where you found your data at so that we could go back and look at that again if we wanted to. So I'm using um, a three-star hotel, about $100 a night, and the price of my flight to Paris is $1,500. Atlanta, I'm gonna use a five-star hotel that costs $350 a night. And again, we do not need to fly to get to Atlanta, so that gives us a flight of $0. Write an equation. Well. Let's think about what X and Y would represent. That's our dependent and our independent variable. Our independent variable is X. Our dependent variable is Y. So again, our total cost is dependent. So total cost is dependent on the number of nights in the hotel. So that's our variables. Now let's look at how do we find our total cost if we're staying in um, a hotel that costs $100 a night, then if we stayed one night, it would be $100. If we stayed two nights, it would be $200. If we stayed five nights, it would be $500. If we stayed X number of nights, it would be 100 times X. But because this is Paris, we have to get there, so we have to include our $1,500 price of flight, and that's how we would find our total cost for Paris. Atlanta is a little different because we do not have a flight cost, so it's just our price of hotel times the number of nights we stay there, and that's how we find our total cost for Atlanta. So now you have a system of equations. You know that y is equal to 350x, and we know that y is equal to 100x plus 1500. Now that we have our system of equations, here's where you can solve that system algebraically using the uh, substitution method or the combination method that you learned about in this unit. We also want to graph our system of equations to show where the two lines intersect on the coordinate plane. So those are the two major parts of this project. Keep in mind this is 14 points out of 50, so that would represent 28 percent of your project grade is just showing how do you graph these two lines that are in slope intercept form on a coordinate plane to show the point of intersection? So there's some key features that you should be using when you're graphing a line in slope intercept form. You should be showing accurately the y-intercept and the slope. And then we want to show how they are um, in relationship to each other, where would their point of intersection be? So that's how we solve a system graphically. And then you also wanna solve your system algebraically. Again, this is 16 out of 50 points, which is 32 total points. So you want to show how you find the XY ordered pair they have in common. 
so that you can determine what number of nights they would have the same cost. So again, the graph and the uh, substitution method or the elimination method, you're going to show how to solve your system of equations to find the xy point of intersection two ways, one with a graph and one algebraically. And then after you do that, now you know the xy point of intersection, so you know at what number of nights they have the same cost. Now you can go in and answer question number eight to say what you would plan, which plan you would choose if you had $1,500 to spend and why. Hope that helped. Thank you.